Good morning, everybody. Lord be with you. We meet in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. What would you expect a brave soldier to take into battle? Would you expect him to take a candle in a jar, something like this, and maybe a blowing instrument? Do you think that would be useful? Well, these were what God told a soldier called Gideon to take with him. God wanted to find out if he could trust Gideon to do an important job. I'm going to read a story from the Bible to you now. It's a story that's in the Old Testament and it goes by the name of a brave and mighty man. There is a repeated phrase in this story, which is Gideon, God whispered. And when I say that, I want you to all repeat Gideon, God called. Gideon, God whispered, your turn. Gideon, God called, I need your help. You're brave and mighty. But Gideon was nowhere to be found. As a matter of fact, he was hiding in a pit his father used for crushing grapes. You can't be talking to me, Gideon stammered. I'm no brave and mighty man, but God knew what he was doing. He always does. You're the man, all right, God explained. The Midianites have my people surrounded and I want you to round up an army to stop them. Gideon did what God told him and to his surprise, over 30,000 men agreed to join him. Gideon, God whispered, your turn. Gideon, God called, you have far too many men. I want you to send some of them away. There are more Midianites than I can count though, Gideon stammered. I need all the help I can get. But God knew what he was doing. He always does. I am all the help that you need, God said. So tell the men who are frightened to go home. Gideon did what God told him. And when he had finished, there were only 10,000 men left. Gideon, God whispered. Gideon. God called. You still have too many men. So here's what I want you to do. Gideon listened to God's plan. Gideon stammered and shook and then he led his men to the river and he told them to have a drink. Some soldiers lapped up the water like dogs. Gideon sent them home. Others got down on their knees and scooped up the water in their hands. Those were the soldiers that Gideon kept. And when he'd finished, there were only 300 men left. Gideon, God whispered. Gideon, God called. Now we are ready to fight the Midianites. But there are thousands of them, Gideon stammered. And only 300 of us. How can we possibly win? You can't, God said. Not without my help. And that's what I want you to see. Now listen. Here's my plan. Late that night, Gideon led his 300 men to the edge of the Midianite camp. In one hand, every soldier carried a trumpet and in the other hand, an earthenware pot with a flaming torch inside. There wasn't a sword in sight. At Gideon's signal, the soldiers blew their trumpets and they smashed their pots and they shouted, for the Lord and for Gideon. The Midianite soldiers awoke, startled. It seemed as if there was noise and fire all around them. Dazed and confused, they stumbled about in the dark, into each other and over each other. And it wasn't long before they were fighting each other too. When all the fighting had stopped, the Midianite soldiers who were left all ran away, convinced that they had been defeated by some great army, but it was only Gideon, his 300 men, and a God who knew what he was doing all along. Now God saw that even though he'd asked great things of Gideon, he was worthy of trust. This is how we get the word trustworthy. There are times when each of us will be trusted with tasks that must be done. We may be trusted by a parent or a friend or a teacher. Sometimes the tasks will seem really small and sometimes they will be very challenging. 
It's important that we do whatever we agree to do and we do it really well because then people will come to know that we are trustworthy people. If you've ever been let down by someone that you've trusted, you will know how important trustworthiness really is. Two questions to reflect on now. What tasks have you ever been trusted with? And has anyone ever let you down? Or maybe have you ever let somebody else down? Hands together, let us pray. Father God, help us to be trustworthy like Gideon, even in the small things that we are asked to do. Amen. Let's say our Lord's Prayer Amen. together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. As you listen to the music on the next slide, I would like you to write down different ways that you are trusted at home or at school. And then you can pop your post-it note on your class worship reflection poster. And that was Symphony Number no. 5 and 6 by Beethoven. Peace be with you. And now time to have your say. Three questions all about reading. Number one, are you a good reader? Number two, what's easy or difficult about reading? And number three, how could you get better at reading? Give your answers to your school counsellor or to your class teacher and make sure I have them by the end of the week. <laughs> 